So when thinking about Series A as a founder and as a, as a company, uh, you go through different uh, stages that is different from seed and uh, uh, probably, you know, pre A. And one important thing is, you know, uh, that you need to consider as a founder is, you know, is the system, you know, the, the, the venture that you bring and the product is ready for scale. Because this is when you need the Series A money. Uh, and this is when the investors in Series A start to look into attractive businesses that has proven uh, product in the market. So speaking about this stage, which is probably the, the, the first time you start to think about A or you start to forecast, okay, I will be ready to raise A at that time. Maybe we will open the discussion with you, Ahmed. How you evaluate companies at that stage, what you are looking for, when you think the companies are ready from product and uh, from validation for raising Series A. Sure, thank you. Thank you, Ahmed. Um, uh, when, when you're at Series A, uh, uh, assuming that you've decided that fundraising from VC makes sense for you, for your market, and that this is the right thing to do today, um, it's also really important to understand the difference between uh, uh, different VCs. So some VCs, maybe they, um, uh, uh, they're looking for exits that are 100 million or 200 million uh, dollars, others looking for one, two, three billion dollars. So that is a function of, uh, uh, th that matters a lot, uh, because if, if, if you're going to a really large VC, however, the market is really small, so you might be wasting cycles. So, so number one, you need to understand how big is the market and is it compatible with the VC audience that you go to. Uh, uh, and then second, when you go to that VC, uh, you know, whether they have a thesis about uh, the market that you're operating in. Uh, you know, for us, for STV, as, a, as an example, we invest in large markets uh, who, and, and we look at all the players and then we bet on the right player. And if there is a fit in terms of deal terms, uh, you know, um, uh, and the right valuation, uh, uh, the, the right uh, dynamics. So that, that's a good match. Series A, ideally, you expect a little bit more metrics, a little bit more uh, traction, and, and, and that uh, really drives uh, the investment decisions that we make. So maybe I will open it also for the other panelists. Is there any certain milestone, like a revenue growth, uh, or a, you know, size, or a market size, uh, you know, any specific milestones that you evaluate or you look at to, to assist the readiness of the company for Series A? Hiyakum Allah Jamiyan. It's a pleasure to be among you here, among an esteemed panel. Uh, I second what Ahmed mentioned. When you want to think about Series A, choose the right investor and what the investor can offer you and make sure you align interests. But from the company itself, you need to have proven your unit economics. You need to have understood your defensibility and you, and you built a moat about the at least core offering you have. Once you have that core offering with a positive unit economics that you created a moat around it, and now it's about owning that market share, I think that's the time to come. What we will make sure is that with the money you're raising, will you do that? Will you achieve that milestone? And if you achieve that milestone, will it create enough uh, increase in your valuation that will justify it? But even for yourself as an entrepreneur, before being diluted by investors, make sure that the milestone you're reaching is worth that dilution. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Maybe I add a, a slightly different angle to what you just said, because I agree with all of these points in terms of a standard a Series Z. Um, I do see a few faces and a few people here in the, in the crowd that might not be from Saudi or at least from the region. And, and I think uh, what I wanted to sort of say is that from our perspective, uh, investing in cross-border ventures, I think beyond some of the standard criteria what we do look for are really uh, two things. I mean, one is when we think about product market fit, uh, when you go across borders, it's also having a, a proposition that is specifically tailored or you have a competitive position in this market. You might be, have a, a good position in your home market, but how do you fit into the ecosystem here and what can you bring that is not available among you know, the, the local players? And I think related to that as well is the ability to execute, right? Because it's one thing to have a product that you might have uh, 
proven or a model at home. But when you go into a new market, you, uh, of course, need to uh, localize. And I think for us, having the combination of the product market fit as well as the ability to, to localize and execute here in Saudi is, is very important.